All right, uh, let me go ahead and make the blade visible again. Do a shift H there. It's still, if I can select it over here, but I can't select it in the world space because it is live. And I just need to modify it so that I can basically get this, this uh, final little edge there. So I'm gonna uh, turn quad draw back on. And then let's see what we've got. What's the easiest way to do this? Probably just, I think I can, yeah, just basically clicking and dragging because they, I still have my symmetry on. They're gonna wanna kind of pop out, which is wonderful. Have to make sure I actually get a hold of it. All right, and now I've got that that uh, center geo kind of filled in. So I think I may need to, like I wanna make a little bit of an adjustment here, but I don't want that top edge getting flat. So I'm just gonna uh, hop into move mode, get a bit of verts, and then we'll just go ahead and looks like I might have to turn off my live surface there. The reason I knew that I needed to do that is it was, there was something strange. Like normally you're gonna get the little square in the middle there of your transform. But when something is live, it's gonna give you that circle. So it's gonna to wanna to try to stick to that. And I actually, in this case, I don't really wanna do that. I'm just gonna, so I wanna capture the silhouette. And I, and I want all of these verts that I'm selecting here to behave consistently. So here in wireframe, I'm just making some little adjustments. And we'll take a look at that. I think that's probably gonna be just fine. But again, don't make any final decisions on that until you know for sure. I'm gonna move everything outside of here. Um, just hit Shift P on that and then I can delete this thing. There's no reason to keep that around. And uh, this is blade high, so we'll just rename our new geo, our new retop here. Call this one blade low. And I'll just move it under blade high. And we'll just pick some of these other pieces here and see what we got. So for the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and retop all of this stuff together. So we'll go ahead and I guess it doesn't really make a difference whether or not we combine it now or, or later. So I'll go ahead and just combine it. We'll do an edit delete by type history. And then I'll call this uh, handle group left. And make it live. And then I'll hide everything else. And we'll enable quad draw. and begin the process again. So it's, I'm gonna leave symmetry on. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. I think the other side is similar, but not exactly the same. So maybe turning symmetry on is a mistake. I'll go ahead and just un undo that. Uh, if we need to, we can always just duplicate the geo from this side over the other side and then uh, modify it as we need to. Like, I don't think this cut's in there and probably that stuff is in there. So anyway, mostly this cut is gonna be the part that's that's different. So anyway. One of the things I, I coach folks on, uh, on as far as like how to start is generally I will recommend starting with the more complicated stuff and then transitioning to the simpler stuff. So I kind of just violated that because I started with simpler stuff when this is clearly going to be a little bit more involved. So we'll just come over here, try to correct my error. And this is a fairly small circular feature. I'm gonna make sure all these pieces are, or all these little verts are, are approximately equidistant around the uh, the handle or this little cutout here. And there's a bit of a curve here, so I wanna make sure that I have some geometry to support that. But up here, it's just a straight cut. Keep hitting W, which pops me out of quad draw. 
which is not really what I'm intending to do. But you can just turn it back on by enabling Quadra over there in the modeling toolkit. So we've come over here and taken care of this more complicated area. Because it's easier to make the simple stuff conform to the complicated stuff as opposed to the other way around. So we'll just kind of see what we can force over here, trying not to get too much, uh, too many crazy zigzags in the geo. And as far as, yeah, I think we probably do need this edge because we've got a curve here. We might actually, I'm going to hold control. So if I, this is one little, little thing here. If I try to move this over, it's going to basically sink to match the top of that that screw, which isn't really what I want to do. So I think I might just avoid having to deal with that at all. It wouldn't be that difficult to go into the geometry afterwards and just kind of make everything planar. Because I don't want there to be some weird dent there. Might catch the lighting in a strange way. So let's see, what are my options here? That'll probably work okay. So if I can add a face here, then I can just do a bunch of vertical edges all the way down. There's a lot of stuff that Quadra can do that I'm not really taking advantage of. I don't know that it would be useful in this exact context, but like if you hold, I don't know, I think it's like tab and middle mouse button, you can drag out edges like that. So if you find that to be easier and there's, there's another way that you can actually, like if you have more than one edge in your, your selection, you can drag a bunch of them out. That's all down here. You can kind of look at that if you want. But in, uh, so I'm used to ZBrush and in ZBrush it doesn't have all that fancy stuff. It's just clicking and connecting verts with faces, moving them around on the surface. And uh, kind of what you see is what you get. So I am going to use a similar method here. So I'm just trying to keep it as clean and simple as possible. And probably to make this experience a little bit less unpleasant, I'm going to speed these videos up at some point once I've demonstrated some of this basic functionality because it's really not doing anything new. It's just the same thing over and over again. The one thing that might be different is how, you know, how to combine stuff in the high poly. So I want, there's a curve here and I've got a triangle right there. So I'm actually just gonna delete these faces Go to F8, actually tap the W key. I'm gonna select those. Go back to object mode, enable quadra, and now I'm actually just gonna kinda of continue. If it'll let me, yeah. So that's usually a, a nice little thing. If, if you've got a triangle and you discover you actually need, you need some geometry where you thought you didn't, you can just use a quad and then it's like best of, best of both worlds. We're capturing the silhouette and using quads. All right, so we are at time for this video. I will pick it up in the next one. So stay tuned.